Hello and welcome to my video describing how to add virtual disks to an existing virtual machine and then using common LVM or logical volume management tools inside Linux we will extend the size of uh, this space we have for one of for your virtual machine. Now there's a couple of ways to create additional disk space for a virtual machine. There is a tool on your host machine for VirtualBox called VBox Manage, and you can modify HD. You could expand the size. Right now, I just have the default size of 12 gig for my virtual disk. I could make this bigger if I want, but I'll show you another method to do all that. Instead of expanding out, we'll just, we'll just create new drives in here. The particular distribution I'm using is Linux Mint 17.3. The command lines I'm going to show you really work for any distribution. It really doesn't matter if you have a GUI or not. It doesn't matter if it's Debian based or RPM based. Everything should work as long as your kernel is, I think, at least version 2.4 or later. I think that's when LVM or LVM version 2, I think, became common in all Linux kernels. So I'll go right in sh uh, to show you my image here. So here is I'm inside their VM right now. And I'll do a disk free command to show you how much space we have in here. So I have 65% usage. That's plenty of disk space, but let's just pretend I want more disk space in here. Now I happen to know that the default way that Linux Mint partitions a drive and then configures everything, it creates a logical volume. It creates two of them actually. So we're going to do LV display, which is to show, which will display all of the logical volumes you currently have in there. And there's two by default it creates. There's a single volume group called mint VG. The VG means volume group. This one is root. So this root logical volume is mounted to the root file system. And then down here is swap one. Again, on the mint VG volume group it has two gigabytes. So 9.73 gig plus two gigabytes here is very, very close to the 12 gigabytes. Uh, total virtual disk I have in here and the other remaining looks like 236 meg goes into the boot that's attached to the first partition of the virtual disk and all of this is just standard Linux Mint stuff in here and by the way uh, if you want to have a website you can go to refer to all the commands I'm going to use uh, how to geek has a really great article on here it's called how to manage and use LVM in Ubuntu, you, you can ignore the in Ubuntu part because, like I said, everything here is command line and all of this is common to Linux. It doesn't really matter what distribution you are. In fact, their own instructions are, you, they use command lines for everything too. And I'm going to do almost everything that they're using in, in this article. So I will shut down my VM and, I'll, and then we can get started. And we're back. So I just powered down my VM. And now the very first thing you want to do because we're running a VM, we can take snapshots. So as you can see, I took one already. I took this one one minute ago. Um, I have my own way that I create snapshots. I, put, I just put the current date and I just put a brief description there before adding new VMs in here. So let's add the new virtual disks in here. So we go into settings, storage, I'll expand this out a little bit. And then you click on the controller itself and this little green button over here, the plus sign on it, add, add a hard disk. We want to create a new one. And I'm going to make two 3 gigabyte disks on here just to show you that you can add multiple disks in here. And you can combine all of them together to form one volume group. So you could make like one huge file system if you wanted out of many small disks or you could just make one. I could make this as big as I wanted to and just add that one in there. But I'll just show you. I'll just do two 3 gigabyte disks just for demonstration purposes. I'll call them Mint uh, LVM 0, 3 gigabytes, VDI dynamically allocated, and we'll create. Then I'll create another one. I'll make it 3 gigabyte. And we'll call this one Mint LVM 1. And there we go. And it's that easy. I created two new virtual disks. Disks. I added them into this Mint 17.3 virtual machine itself. And I will save that. And then I will power up. Okay, I'm back. I'm powered up now. 
and right now I put the focus of my video recorder just in the VM itself. So I will show you real quick that my new hard disks are in there. We'll just look at the SD. SD stands for SATA disks. And we can see that we have, the f this, this is the original virtual disk I had in there, and there's three partitions in there, one, two, and five. And then these are my new disks I added, SDB and SDC. So the first thing we got to do is we got to format, or I'm sorry, partition. Actually, I'm just going to go right into root because I get sick of typing sudo on every single thing I got to do. And I got to type sudo for every single command I'm going to do. So I'm just going to go right into, I'm just going to become root itself. So I'm going to use the fdisk utility to partition the first one, sdb. And I will use m for help. And I want to create a new partition, primary partition, partition number one for sector. It's fine. I'm going to use up the entire disk. And how do I change system ID? There we go. Change the system ID. I happen to just memorize that hex code AE means Linux VM. And I think I want to do W to write the table to the disk. And I'm going to do the same thing for the second hard drive we created. I'm going to create new partition, new primary partition, number one, for sector. I'm going to default for the entire drive. And I want to change the type to Linux LVM. And partition table. Now, if I do ls-l of SD all again, you can see that two new partitions were created. So, so SDB is the drive itself. SDB1 is the, part, the new pr primary number one partition that I created. Same thing for this disk down here as well. So that's how you use FDisk. Uh, it just creates partitions for you. Next thing we're going to do is uh, going to do something called PV display and you can see I only have a single physical volume so it's just the first virtual disk which is SDA and that 5 that just means it's not actually partition 5 it's uh, SDA 2 is actually a logical partition and 5 is just a extended extended partition Linux Mint does this by default whenever it installs whenever it installs uh, your OS for the first time. So what we want to do is do PV create because we want to we want to add these two new um, virtual disks that we did. So I'm going to add them both at the same time. We'll do B1 first and then we'll do SDC1. So we successfully created those so we'll just do PV display again. And we see that we have the SDB1 as a new physical volume of 3 gigabytes, and SDC C1 is a new physical volume of 3 gigabytes. And now we're going to go to just show the existing uh, volume groups that are in there. So we'll do VG display, and you can see there is one existing volume group, the Mint volume group. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add these two new physical volumes that we just created into this one existing volume group called Mint VG. So what we do is we do VG extend and we're going to I'm going to use the minus T which means test. The nice thing about LVM tools is that all of them have a dash T option where you can test everything. You can put a command in there and it'll run through your command but it won't actually commit anything or change anything. So that way you can kind of see the output before before it actually does it for real. The volume group is going to be mint vg. Oop. Mint vg. I'm going to do this on. I'm going to basically add in the volume groups that we just created onto the physical volumes. SDB1. SDC1. And we'll see what happens. 
Now you can see in here it says test mode. Metadata will not be updated. So everything looks like Mint VG was successfully extended. So we'll do the same command this time, but without the test option in there. And volume group was successfully extended. And then we'll do a VG display again to take a look at it. Now, this is the important thing to note here. The volume group name is Mint VG. The important thing to know is the free PE. The PE stands for physical extent. And 1541 is the number uh, we we have, we have to remember this number because we were we have six gig is currently free. This is the 11.7 gig that's currently allocated into the volume group. This is the original amount that we started with. We added two new three gigabyte disks, and that's what's represented down here. So the free physical extents are the amount of essentially unallocated uh, space that's inside this volume group in here. So what we want to do is, um, let me see, yeah, so that's that's the physical extents. We want, we want to add these into the logical volume. So what we're going to do, I'm going to switch into tabs over here to another terminal display. So we're going to do LV display. LV means logical volume. Oop. See, I hate doing, I hate sudo, so I'm just going to become root and just do LV display. So at the moment, there's only two logical volumes in here. There's the root one and the swap one. The root is the one that we're going to extend. So right now, it's LV size is 7 point, or 9.73. We want to extend that. So what we're going to do is LV extend dash L. Dash L means the amount of size you want. We're going to have to you add a P for adding. And then we're going to add in the physical extents number, which over here was 1541. So we come back here. We're going to add. I guess this doesn't work like Putty does. 1541-R means that we're going to, after it extends, we want to, it to automatically resize the file system, the ext4 file system that it's under. Dash T for the test, and then dash V to define the volume group. My volume group is dev mint vg root. And let's see what happens here. So all this comes out and we can see now this FS or this FS admin thing, you can kind of ignore the failed part of it. Resizing file system device. So everything, everything looks like it worked on here. All this out, kind of ugly output on here. And now the one really important thing I want you to note is that we are extending the, the root file system. So everything is, the root file system is mounted always by default. We're doing all of this in the command line on a live VM as it's running. And it will extend it for us. Even though it's mounted, it will still extend it for us. So if we do the, if we just get rid of the dash T to do, uh, get rid of the test part and just do it for real. And there you go. Looks like it did it. So if I do a DF minus H again, we can see that on the root partition, I now have 16 gigabytes only 5.8 are still used and 8.9 are available. And that's it really. We're all done with this. It really was that easy. It, all we did was added two new disks in there and a couple of commands and it extended and did everything for us all while the file system was mounted and running. So thanks a lot for viewing my video. Uh, please be sure to like it and hopefully I'll make another one. Bye.